Welcome to the first in a new series of Ring Fit Adventure, Character Workouts. We all like to think we could train like athletes, superheroes, monsters, anime characters and such, but what would their typical workout look like if they did it in Ring Fit? Let's find out. Today, we're going to train like Hawkeye. Not Hawkeye Pierce from MASH, that would just be a lot of laughing and martini drinking. No, I mean the Archer from the Avengers who just got their own show on Disney+. Plus. Hawkeye may not be people's favourite Avenger, but he is an athletic badass archer with a great fighting repertoire and is extremely capable in a fight as part of a team and solo. So with that in mind, what fit skills would Hawkeye train using? We want athleticism and the ability to shoot a bow really well, so there'll be a lot of upper body focus as well as some aerobic and resistance work across the rest of the body as well for jumping, running and high cardio thresholds. So this will consist of two playlists, one focusing on the archery and upper body, with the other being a full body set with various moves to challenge you. The reps are all adaptable, so try to keep them either to level 1, 2, 3, 4 or 5 for the whole lot for more challenge, but depending on your ability you can adapt to where you need. Get your water, towel, warm up properly and let's train like Hawkeye. So this first playlist is definitely more focused on the Hawkeye side of Clint Barton. We start the upper body focus playlist with sidestep of all moves. This emulates the jumping and dodging that Hawkeye does, and the arm movement provides an adequate warm up ahead of the meat of the work that we go into. Next we have three exercises that work really well together. Bow pull, back press, and overhead squat. Bow pull is a given for Hawkeye, training the lats and the triceps really effectively. Make sure to do most of the pull with your rear arm. I did recently do a technique guide, so I'll link that in the card up the top now if you want to nail your technique. Back press provides a more focused work on the rhomboids and trapezius muscles, which enhances your pulling power and strengthens your back more. Overhead squat provides great lower body resistance training for overall power, whilst also training stability for the upper body as well. This can be subbed for wide squat if need be. Next, repeat bow pull and back press before jumping into front press. This acts with a lot of the opposite muscles to bow pull, with more work on the chest and biceps, so it's really important to ensure that we train in balance. Take tricep kickback for a spin next, really focus on isolating the rest of the body and just using the triceps to move the forearm up when doing this. Pull out a round of mountain climbers for an aerobic blast, do them at your own pace and focus on driving your knee up towards your chest rather than out and away from the body. Finish off with Bootstrap Tower on Advance. This is a fun way to end the set whilst also providing some counter chest work and shoulder work for the archery side of it. Great job! The second playlist is more of an aerobic all over set so I'm going to nickname it Ronin. Start with a jog through starting block bridge to warm up effectively before getting some focus work for the gluteus maximus with hip lift, an important muscle for someone on the run. Tree pose helps with ankle stability for your jumping and overhead squat is important for leg strength and core stability. Clint wouldn't go that long without firing a bow, so bow pull is an important one to add in ahead of an amazing core move in boat pose. Whilst this move is great, it can be difficult to do, so be mindful of your ability, take it slow. Sub for seated ring raise or knee to chest if necessary. Leg raise and flutter kick make an incredible duo for hip mobility and strength, whilst also creating great work for the rectus abdominis as well. Chair pose and warrior 2 end the set giving great stretches for your arms, as well as some nice isometric work for the legs. Really open the hips on Warrior 2 pose to get all the benefits. Nice, Clint would be proud of you. And that is that. I really hope you enjoyed using these playlists. I've been using them for a week or so and I'm having a lot of fun training with them. I feel a little bit like Hawkeye. And honestly, I'm really looking forward to watching the Disney Plus show too. To see more of him, I feel he was a little bit underutilised in the MCU, so more development for him would be really cool to see, as well as whether he's passing the torch or not in this series. I feel these playlists capture pretty well how he would train using Ring Fit Adventure, but what do you think? What character do you reckon I should tackle with Ring Fit next? Let me know in the comments, and as always, like, share, and subscribe for more Ring Fit content incoming. Thank you for watching, I've been Master Trainer Peter, and I'll see you soon.